May I say how absolutely enchanting you look? Like, Thank really you. lovely. Thanks, and I picked a, uh, a pink mug to match my ensemble. Wow, I didn't even know we had these in pink. I'm going to take this home. You can have it, but I didn't know that. Do we have these in pink, too? Oh, I like yours better. Really? You don't want to see this in pink, though, I don't think. That's the coolest mug I've ever seen. You should get out more. They have mugs. They have mugs that are awesome. There's one that you can... No, never mind. Look, uh, it's great. Uh, does bitch mean Brazilian? I mean, B mean Brazilian or bitch? Or what does it mean? Does bitch mean Brazilian? Well, um, no. I mean, does the B mean Brazilian? No, it means bitch. It means bitch. But you can't say bitch on TV? No, you can. I think we just opted, you know, not to. And I'm glad because I play the bitch and people on the street yell, um, hey, B, to me all the time. Oh, that's probably good. And if they were yelling, hey, bitch, I just feel like it would probably start to weigh on they me. yell that at me, too. They do? Yeah. Why? I don't know. You're not nice to people? I'm quite nice to people, I yeah. think. Yeah, I try and be nice. Do you try and be nice? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I think when I leave the house, I don't really leave the house much. Well, you're not nice to the people in your house? No, I'm the only one there. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> but you, that means you're not nice to yourself. That's bad. Uh -huh. Aha, see? The therapist wins again. <laughs> Are you in therapy? Five days a week. Really? No. <laughs> I think everyone should go to therapy. Five days a week. Why not? I know. You know, I don't know. I started. Who has that kind of time, though? Therapists. Yeah. <laughs> Would you ever consider it? Yeah, I'm, I, I love you know talking about myself. <laughs> so. I can't believe that's not going to work for you no, as an actress at all. No, Let me <laughs> tell you, young lady. Yeah, but it's like an hour and a half every week, right? Where you just talk about yourself, and somebody just sits there and, st and stares out the window. And... No, 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 no. It's very different to that. Oh, it is. Yeah, at least. Look, the dude said he was a therapist. Maybe he's not a therapist. Cause I don't it... know what you're doing. Well, you go in, they tie you up. You, that's not a. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I don't know what you're doing. Maybe it's not therapy. Maybe it's a completely different thing. Did you go to college? I didn't. I was a model. You know, same thing. <laughs> no, I think that that's, that's nice. Where did, what kind of modeling did you do? I was, a, I was a fashion model when I was a teenager. That's nice. But I think it's a risky thing for a young girl to do. There are always these people telling you to be thinner and thinner and thinner. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. Oh. They wouldn't give me money for a Metro card because um, they'd want me to walk 20 blocks to keep that's my thumb. That's awful. Thin. That, I know. Also, wait a minute. People they have like, to pay you if you're modeling. They can't say, oh, we're not paying you because we want you to be thinner by walking. <laughs> no, well. That's Illegal. But when you first get started, you don't make money, so they advance you. They give you like an allowance oh, every right, week. Oh, right, right, right. So you get $200, you know, not even every week. You get $200 to last you, you know, the rest of your life. So <laughs> you uh, can't buy a Metro card or, you know, you eat, you can't eat food. That's dreadful. I'm, I'm never going to allow any of my children to be models. No, don't. Yeah, no, I it's won't. It's not glamorous. No, it's not glamorous. I mean, I think when you have success, like, you know, famous models, they're, they're fine, but... Really? When you're just a scrappy model. Like, just like a kind of, like, street model? Yeah, when you're yeah. a street model. That's what I want. Like, you're not, like, no, wait, well, that sounds bad, though, I think. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's not yeah, no, no, I no, wasn't no. a street hey. model at all. Do you know, the, yeah, no, I, I didn't think you were. The, uh, do you know what I, show I loved you in was the Breaking Bad show? That's fantastic. You, you were so great in that show when you played that junkie girl. I thought, I think she's a junkie for real. <laughs> Are you? No. Okay, yeah. No. I just thought you might have been doing it to, you know, keep thin. But no, that's... <laughs> um, no, I went to heroin school. So did I. <laughs> oh, mm, that's sad. A little bit. I, well, I did, I did a, a little bit of, you know, I was an exchange student in de heroin school, but I actually went to cocaine academy. <laughs> Not a long time. It was the 80s. Every idiot was doing it in the 80s. It's a little better now, I think. Yeah, now nobody, if you do stuff like that, you're, you get sent home. Without a metro card, you have to walk. <laughs> you have to. You're on cocaine. Yeah, walk home and don't eat anything on the way either. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, so anyway, the B in apartment 23. How is ABC treating you? I worked there once. Yeah. Yeah, I did the Drew Carey show there. They used to make him not walk home in, in order to keep him fat. Oh, oh no. They tried to feed him up all the time. No, that's not true. It, look, look at the evidence. Drew Carey's my friend. He's, we've been friends for a long time. When he did the Drew Carey show on ABC, he was fat. He does The Price is Right on CBS, he's thin. Why? Uh, corruption. You think the network was keeping him fat? The network desperately wanted to keep him fat. They were sneaking sausages into his room. <laughs> True. No, ABC is very, very good to us. You know, I'm well, just so well, happy to have a job. It's a regime, different regime. Totally. Though. Yeah, yeah. Back then, they were run by um, pirates. Pirates. <laughs>
<laughs> yes. They were. Now, of course, it's Disney and ABC together. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm on a show with, you know, a bitch. You know, Disney. The, well, <laughs> no, no. I've, I've worked for Disney. They'd be very nice to me over the years. I, I'm so happy to have a job that I get to go to every day. Really? Do, you, do you feel that? Oh, but, yes. Really? That's refreshing. I feel that, too, sometimes. If I'm not working, I won't leave my house. You, why? Are you? A, I'm such a shut-in. Really? I'm, like, going to be in there, like, peeing in mason jars and having long fingernails. I'm such a recluse. <laughs> On the contrary, you sound more and more attractive with every <laughs> passing cent. I know, I'm disgusting. No, if I have a job, it gets me it gets me out of the house. Do you have trouble getting motivated? No, I'm motivated. I just have, like, anxiety and panic attacks. You should probably try some yoga. <laughs> I do yoga. Yeah, really? How yeah. does that work out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kundalini? I love yoga. Do you do the kundalini yoga? I do ashtanga. Ashtanga. Yes, yeah. yeah, so that's a kind of... That's the, like the kickboxing yeah, yoga. Yeah, that's the kind of power yoga thing. How I'm I get ripped. Indeed. <laughs> but the, uh, I don't ripped at all. <laughs> no, the, uh, you don't want to be ripped. No, You don't, you no. don't want the pythons. Yeah, I don't think guys don't like that. No, well, guys some like guys, some guys like soft. it. I don't want to judge. Some guys like okay. it, but the guys, heterosexual guys don't like it on women. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I think you have to be, in order to look like that, like, you have to be pretty self-involved. Yeah. Well, you it takes a lot. It's all day, you just yourself. Yeah, yourself. and you can't do that? Um, no, I don't, I don't like, no. I, well, I what, what engages you then? What makes you feel enthusiastic other than work, which you I admit? I love that, working. Right, I get that. But other than that, what fills you with passion? You must find something else. I like to go bowling. I like to That's play the kind of thing I was after. <laughs> I, um, I like to play with my little dog. Um, what kind of dog do you have? A little uh, terrier chihuahua named Mikey Mohawk. He's very famous. What do you mean he's very famous? He's been on my TV show, and he was featured on a segment on Entertainment Tonight, and he was in oh. InStyle magazine. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Apart from being on your show, I've done all those things, and I'm not very famous, so I don't understand <laughs> how come your dog can be famous just for doing that. Why was he in InStyle magazine anyway? It was like this, like, you know, actors in their in Actors their dogs. and their small dogs? Yeah. That must have been yeah. hard to get a I'm bunch of them together. <laughs> I know, I'm a walking cliche. No, you're not actually, not at all. You're very interesting and you have trouble about being engaged <laughs> and thinking about yourself a lot. Uh, you, are, you are very different to a lot of the young ladies that do the same job as you. And you're very good at it, but you handle compliments very badly. Hmm. I do? <laughs> I handle compliments badly? I've never heard that before. Well, uh, maybe you don't. What else? You're very pretty. What else? You handle compliments better than I thought you did. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, we're out of time. Oh, we are? Okay. Mm. I'm That's looking really for a fun. new thing to end interviews with, and I don't know what to do, really. I was giving out coconuts for a while, but I'm so over it. So, uh, unless, unless you love coconuts. Do you like I do love coconuts. Oh, well, I'll give you a coconut then. I've got a, a giant... Can you hack off the top for me, too, and put what? a little straw in it? Oh, God, yeah, sure. I'll go around and clean your apartment as well. Come on. <laughs> Here, now, we got a nice uh, well, selection of coconuts. Um, which would you... Uh... The big one. <sighs> Now you're a walking cliche. Look, what about a big one and a small one next to it? <laughs> They're lopsided, perfect. Yeah, no, the nature does it that way, you know. Yeah, no, I know. No, really, uh, about testicles. Did you know that? Okay. No, that's true. I, there was a doctor on here. What was the doctor? Was Doctor uh, Doctor Oz or something? He was, I think it was Doctor Oz actually, and he said that nature designs male testicles to be like this because if they were like this, they would oh. clack into each other, <laughs> and they would make that sound. <laughs> So, for example, when a man found you attractive, you would hear this. <laughs> and then flirting would be a thing of the past. I'm going to check. Next, next, next man I see down there, I'm going to check. <laughs> Don't check, just listen. <laughs> just listen. Yeah. They do see you on a dark night, you can still hear. <laughs> so, do you want me to open your coconut? Thanks. Okay. That'd be uh, <laughs> this big one? All right, better move the dress out of the way then. That's oh my God, what do you, dress. I don't know. This is probably not a good idea. You need like a machete. <laughs> no, you don't. Are you sure? Right. I'm, I'm scared. I'm going to get over there. Get over there. I'm going to smash this coconut. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, I am. Oh yeah, you know what? See all this, this bad boy thing that I do here? It's not a smack, baby, all right? <laughs> That's right. You can't say that on network TV. Doesn't matter. I said it. Doesn't matter. I said it. <laughs> and now I'm going to open your coconut. Okay, I'm scared.